delicious beer and untapped. Welcome to the beer reviews for this week. Uh, I have a collection of stuff. Yeah, best way to say it is stuff. Um, that I really, to be honest, I've been collecting for a while. I had um, from Midnight Sun Brewing Company's Panty Peeler. I think I've already did that. It's like the uh, Belgian wit that's really a triple and oh, it's delicious, but. Um, first off, I have Dogfish Head's Indian Brown Ale, a clean, well-hopped brown ale brewed with caramelized sugar and hopped liberally and often. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna give it a four. I'm not usually not a, uh, it tastes like a, I'm not really in for hoppy beers, but this is a brown ale that it does, you can taste the caramelized sugar in there. And it is delicious, but the, the hops kind of like offset, so it's kind of balanced to it. So <clears throat> it pours a nice brown uh, color. Well, it's brown ale, of course. If it was like green, I'd be wondering about it, right? Um, four. I'd really try it if I were you. Uh, dog, and this is Dogfish Head's uh, Indian Brown Ale. No. Raspberries? I got Raspberry Gulch's Imperial Saison, an ale brewed with raspberries. It's, um, it's a seasonal release, and it is, it's pretty good. It's from Elevation Beer, uh, Beer Company. Um, I'm also going to give it a four. It's an 8.12%. 12, uh, 12%. It's uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, you can taste the raspberries, but it, you also uh, have those spices in there. Uh, really, really good. It, it, it's more of a um, dessert beverage. I, I remember I had to drink this before my taxes. Yeah. <laughs> 4.0, raspberry gulch. I really suggest this. Um, this beer is Radeberger Pilsner. It's imported from Germany. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a 1.5. It just tastes like water. It's just not, there's nothing to it. I mean, pour it, it has a sickly yellow. It's meh. This is what I think about. It. Yeah. <laughs> One. This is an extinct beer. Yeah, I cannot, apparently they don't make this anymore. But this is the Venerator Double, Doppelbach from Pacific Brewing and Malting, one of the oldest brewing companies in Tacoma. Uh, it actually, apparently, uh, it was opened way back in the 1800s, shut down during the uh, Prohibition. And what happened is recently, recently, about 2014, 15, they reopened. The Venerator Doppelbach. Sounds awesome, right? It's a dark beer. It's powerful stuff. But, two, it did not impress me. It just was like, just overly, it was a little bit just off. I, I don't know, it wasn't, wasn't too hoppy. It had this, it had a little bit of sweet, a little bit of texture, just this really good, yeah, like full body, but besides that, there's something I didn't like about it. I don't really necessarily know what it was. Like, I, I just, something about it just turned me off to it. I don't know. Uh, to, um, this is Dogfish Head's Beery to Drink Music to 17, the Tropical Blonde. It's a liquid soundtrack for welcoming warmer weather. Our blonde ale is music inspired tro a musical inspired tropical mashup uh, with kiwi juice and hibiscus flowers. Three. I do not, I taste a little bit of the kiwi, I don't get the high hibiscus. It's just, yeah. Yeah, and it's 6.8 6 uh, alcohol. It's, it just does not really do it for me. I don't know what it is about it. It's just, it, it just had a little bit of kiwi. I don't taste any hibiscus. It was disappointing. It's beer to drink music to the tropical wine. All right, here's something I'll give a 4.32. It's an oatmeal stout. Uh, remember my trauma. Uh, it's Fremont's Dark Star. It's 
full, really good. It's got all good. Yeah, it's delicious. It is. Oh, it's so full body. You have the chocolate notes, and it's just it's heavy, but not too heavy. If that makes a sense. Uh, it's it's really delicious. I really like this uh, dark star. All right. Here's from Maui Brewing Companies. I can't do this. Hale Kala Sunrise is an IPA. Yes, it's a tropical IPA. Made with passion. Uh, it is made from passion from the heart of paradise. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to give it a 4.3 IPA. What? It's not overly hoppy. It has a full texture. It's or kind of a golden color. I like it. I really do. And Unita, or Unita, whatever it's, it's Gold Nail. Mm-mm. It's their Park Series. This is what I think about it. Two. It just was hoppy. That was it. I mean, it was like hoppy urine. Uh, it really didn't do it for me at all, whatsoever. Uh, I know this isn't really funny, but... I mean, I could probably urinate in there, and it probably tastes better. Um, last but not least, hey, check this out. Irish Death in cans now. And it's marketed as a dark, smooth ale. And listen to this. I like this. It it's, its color belies its drinkability. It, it may it, it may near it, it may be near black, but it tastes like beer candy. Okay, beer, beer candy. Okay, here's another one. It's like as one fan says, Irish Death is like Barry White's voice traveling down a well well bowling lane into a pile of teddy bears. <laughs> what? Okay, it's great. Fine. Uh. I love Irish Death. You don't believe or not, I, this is actually makes a really good stew base. I'm, I'm going to cut it short because I have other stuff i got to do tonight. Uh, but yeah, these are my beer reviews for tonight. It was good and disappointment. No middle of the road. So, there we go. That's what I've had. Even extinct beer, even though it disappointed me. Uh, I feel like I drank an, a, 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 an endangered species. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night.